Oh man, we're free! What's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of Broken Age! And we have broken free from Mog Chathra's wrath! And now if we lose our grip, it won't matter too much, won't it? We gotta be careful here. Oh man, this is so cool though, we're so high in the sky! Yeah, you climb up! <laughs> Just make sure you don't fall, yeah. Oh man! This is so cool! Wow. I have to say, this game sometimes feels like a movie, and that's everything. That's like so, that's such a good thing. <laughs> and hey, it looks like big bird bags there. <laughs> Hello fellow birds, how are you? They seem to be so happy that I'm joining them. <laughs> Let's go! Hooray! And what are we gonna find up here? Like what new land can we adventure to? Where is this bird even flying? We can't really control it too much, can we? Mm, whoa, she found something with that face. What's happening? Ooh, as the clouds move, they find, whoa, a cloud land. Oh, we're gonna crash right into it too. Uh oh, no! Well, is that a golden egg? I guess it is. Okay. And here we are. We almost fell into that. Would have hurt. Hello. Ah! 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 No! Ow! Don't worry. We're not hurting your egg. Dad, look. Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. <laughs> These guys seem interesting. Where are we? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Doesn't seem to care. I think she just cares about her egg. Hmm, okay. Um, what else? Let's talk to these guys. What is going on? This is crazy. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. Oh, okay. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Hmm, so we just seem to be in a cloud land. These guys tend to it. Some really interesting stuff. This, uh, friend of mine escaped the Maiden's Feast, really messed things up. She what? What kind of selfish monster would run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully, the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Hmm. So even here, they are sort of brainwashed by the Chathras. So did they just have a flying Chathra? Because obviously there's no nothing to swim in here. Well, she just thought maybe she could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, I hope they put her in jail. I hope I meet her someday so I can poke her with my stick! Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud, because no one wants to leave. Oh. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Well, that's not nice. <laughs> These people are sort of full of themselves. I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Well, maybe that's what they like. Maybe that's, maybe Malgatrathos into that. Okay, then how do we get to Shell Mound? How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? 
Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Hmm. Definitely doesn't seem to be, so we gotta find her egg. We gotta help her out. She did us a favor, we gotta do her one. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Lou speaks, cause leaks. Hmm, I don't know if I like this little society they have going on. It seems very secretive. Uh, hmm. Definitely a lot of information we gotta talk about here. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. No, oh, well, how is that funny? <laughs> the poor guy. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Hmm, okay. Wow, these guys have a lot of talking. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat, and then poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Hmm, interesting. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Surface tension. Area. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. He's not a boy made for freestyle, I can tell you that much. Just look at his getup. So this is really interesting. It looks like if we just like walk here, we'll start sinking. No, I don't want that, I don't want that. Oh man, that's scary. I don't want to splat like the other guy might have. Wow, okay, this is a really interesting world full of two jerks. But besides that, let's see what else. This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Hmm. Much lighter that way. Indeed, okay, so it looks like, is this the mom cloud shoes? I gotta need a pair of those, that'll help. Cause they have them. I gotta get in with the trends here. She looks happy, oh, now she's not. Careful. Ah. No, the knife. Gosh darn it. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh right, my knife. <laughs> so what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hmm. She seems very synced into this, and she doesn't seem happy. I feel bad for her. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Well, I mean, this is a little more than a hobby at this point. It's a bit of an obsession. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along.
I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Oh, I see. That was that was a pretty bad burn right there. Okay, then let's uh. Okay, enough about your family. Let us go oh, off sorry. and try to give her was our I knife. Going on about them again. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Surface area. Uh oh. oh. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Hmm. Okay then, so... Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Alright, so I'm guessing that we need the uh, our, give her, her our knife that we should still have. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, oh, my work. Uh, oh, we don't have it anymore. Oh, no! All right then, let's walk off and maybe we can find something then. I swear we still, what happened to it? Did we drop it when we flew off? Huh, all right, so we can't really stay still for too long here. We might fall down. Let's go off this way. There's so much to explore here. There seems to be a lot of depth. Gets me nervous and hello, sir. How are you? Hmm. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Okay, I don't have Hi. anything. Are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh. Yes, excuse me, father. No, fur, like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Mm. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. I love how she thought she, he had like some type of religious presence, and then nope, he just has a dingus name. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey. There's no call for personal insults. <laughs> I guess being heavy would be sort of an insult here. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Hmm. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. Well, I, I think I would too. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. <sighs> Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Oh, I see. You're sassy. I don't like that. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Keep your head out of the clouds. Okay then, so... Looks like we're not going up to see Brother Lightbeard anytime soon without any offerings. We don't have a single thing. So hopefully we find some stuff soon. And there's two birds again. Hello, you two. I mean, they, they might have their own eggs, but... For now, I don't really see a way to get over there, but we got some eggs over here, and maybe we can give some of these eggs to this guy, and that would make him happy. Those don't look like uh, No, 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 don't That'd fall, don't fall. <laughs> that would've been scary. Okay, then we can go down here, too. There's a lot of places to go. Let's go and check this one out, see if there's anything interesting down here. It looks like it says bird, and then it points down. Oh my, what happened here? Somebody's very sad. She looks sad at the least, but what, what happened? Hi. Hi. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Oh. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Oh, uh, she didn't have a good day, did she? Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. So... We, there, we, we can only have shoes. Forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Kind of shabby looking for a Maiden's Feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. I feel so bad for her. This is just such a big beauty contest, and it's so stupid, and she's sort of a victim of it. 
If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. I was in a Maiden's Feast too, just today in fact. Oh really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... what? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. <laughs> we can relate. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. She's very emotional right now. I think we'll leave her be, and we'll leave it all to be, to figure out in the next episode. A lot of talking this time around. But in the next episode, we'll be heading back over to the guy's name, which I forgot. We'll be heading over to his place and seeing what we can do now. I do thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and family and comment in the comments section below. What do you think about this wonderful cloud I area? I think it's pretty there. darn cool, and I can't wait to continue adventuring it in episode 5. I do thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.